Hi, we are Utopia Washington, and we represent the call for action and climate justice. We as members of Utopia Washington have dedicated our time in organizing frontline communities living in diaspora to join the fight in changing the tide. We bring to you a remote perspective of the reality our frontline communities are currently facing. The coconut tree represents the elevation of various islands in depth. Spiraling overhead is the depiction of sea level rise, and the canoe represents the timeless momentum of our resilience and strength riding the tides of climate change. As the theme perpetrates the action we are taking as Pacific Islanders, our work is inspired by the stories of various organizations and communities that have lived through the impacts of unprecedented climate events. Climate change, um, you know, affects uh, small island countries, particularly in the Pacific region, and it's something that we um, go through every day. It's an everyday struggle, and you know, it's an everyday kind of conversation. What do we do next? And we, you know, within the Pacific, we see the realities of the rise of sea level and it's becoming not just um, the, something we have to deal with later but it's about an action now and we're seeing the change in weather patterns we're seeing the the, the different ways that you know s climate change is taking place in the in in the pacific and it's also about um, how people are building strategies and coming up with ideas to kind of address what's happening in the Pacific. And I know for a fact that uh, people are working with each other within the communities to kind of address this issue and also to talk about the lived realities of being in an island where we get to see how things are happening on a daily basis. For instance, um, Tuvalu. Tuvalu is, you know, facing one of the most uh, drastic sea level rise every day. The islands are literally sinking underwater. And then we talk about um, the different um, disasters that have hit the Pacific. At the local level, I know that Pacific Island people are rallying. I know that we have Pacific Island people who are community leaders that are in COP, not just COP, at subsidiary bodies at the climate negotiation that are making sure that tax and language also reflects the realities of people in the Pacific. And it's also about those that are gathering in terms of sharing knowledge and sharing power with and for young people that are, that are always doing amazing work around addressing climate change. And then we have the diverse community within the LGBT community that are also branching out in terms of addressing these issues because climate change does not only affect men and women and children, but also climate change affects everyone. And I think this amazing work that's been done in the Pacific. Some of the work that I've done to address climate change uh, was um, I've rallied and campaigned at COP. I'm also part of the work that did work on policy change. And I've worked with, amaz with amazing organizations like Diva for Equality on Women Defending the Common, River Pride Foundation, and, and organizations like Alliance for Future Generation, and also a group of amazing activists in Fiji who was working on the Pacific Urgent Action Hub. It was really about uh, working at the grassroots level with LGBTQI communities, um, specifically to kind of ensuring that the voices of those that were impact were heard. Sometimes it only takes one voice to make a change. 
and the rest will follow. Let us continue to share our stories that will impact the changing tide.